Say hello, Julie. Hello. Welcome to Millennia. Okay, we're gonna move back out. Move into the house. Over. Okay. okay. Her house is centrally located in the village. Over there, we've got some neighbors. Up there is a main road over there. And that over there, which I can't get in focus very well, is the health center. Don't, it won't start. I've got the lock on. Okay, so we're going to move up into the house. Okay, very mom sitting in the chair. Really very comfortable. Very good. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. We are moving into the kitchen now. You might need to do that back way. We are now in the kitchen. We've got the spinach containers over here. And all around over to the stove. And then this is the storage area for water. Okay, we're gonna move, let's start again now. Okay, we're gonna go into the house now. We take the shoes off, which is a tradition here to take your shoes off before going into someone's house. Come on in. This is shade jewelry. Not a lot of furniture, but people here don't spend a lot of time in their houses, so. It's not really important to have a lot of furniture. People don't come into my house very often. I have my bike, right to other villages. And UNICEF gave us a bike for the other, for the, for the um, health workers to use to travel to other villages. We have maps of Africa. And we have boutiques on the wall. It's a very small house. To show them the back corner. Up there is where lots of little bats live, and they talk all night long, and squeeze get into my clothes. Forrest can tell you that story someday. <laughs> back here is the rest. Of the this is the bathroom. We don't have running water, so we take baths with buckets, buckets of water. They used to have some kind of a running water system with a barrack where they caught rainwater or pumped water up there, but it doesn't work anymore. Or I don't know how it works. Want to do a close up on the toilet? It's kind of scary. There's my beautiful little toilet, Turkish toilet. <laughs> um, this is my bedroom. Very simple encore. Again. I don't have closets. These are just to keep stuff in bags and the bugs, the snakes and stuff don't get into them. We have a mosquito net, which we always sleep with to keep the mosquitoes and the other bugs out. I have a fan. I do have electricity, so I have a fan and a radio and stuff like that. It's very simple. Very, very simple. You're on. Okay, this is a Varnier foot pump. And the way, the way it works, what happens is, as she's pumping down, there's water in a small bladder at the bottom. It goes about 14 meters down. What that does is that expands and it pushes water up the pipe. And there are valves at each point. So it forces the water up and it stops. She pushes again, it forces the water up, and it stops. Until finally the water comes out on the other end. And it's a uh, good clean water and it's safe to drink. Okay, that's good. Okay, we are here at the Komoe River, about a kilometer away from Gromania, which is Julie's village. And we'll 
Come on down a little bit. This, <laughs> this is one of the larger rivers in Cote d'Ivoire. It, uh, it runs all the way up into Burkina Faso. People come down here to to uh, to wash clothes and wash dishes and uh, to bathe and swim. And there is a there's a lot of fishing that goes on in this river. It used to they used to have hippos that come down, but they stay further up the river where there are less people. And because they hunt the hippos here. There's a there's a place a couple of kilometers down the road where where Julie and I used to go and watch the monkeys swinging across on the other side of the river at certain times of the day. So all these women are just doing some laundry and then they're laying it out on the rocks to dry. Oh, like in the rainy season, the river comes up to here. So it's gone, obviously it's gone down quite a bit. Oh, oh Jason, you have to come down here so all the laundry dries. Can you get the Hey, 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 <laughs> She's got a little bracelet on hey, and her ears are here. Oh, oh, I wanted to get this baby scrubbing. <laughs> Here we have a man in a canoe crossing the river. This is just like the canoe right here. Over here, we have a fisherman working on a net that he'll use to catch fish. He'll work most of the morning catching the fish, and then he'll take them into the village, and then he'll sell them. The people that buy them will either cook them right away, or they'll smoke them to be sold later in other villages. Okay. Then did you see how, like, I was telling you how they shaved their heads? Oh. Here's some fishermen going out. I've crossed this river several times in a pirogue, in a, a wooden canoe just like this. Yes, even with the bailing. I'm waiting to see if he's going to throw out his net. I've eaten lots of fish that has come out that have come out of this river. <laughs> 